Lameness is a major issue for New Zealand dairy farmers. Lame cows are a welfare issue. They take time, energy and skill to treat and they're a financial cost that will impact on farm profits. Lame cows produce less milk, lose weight and take longer to cycle. New Zealand research has shown there's a significant delay from when a cow first becomes lame to when her lameness is detected. Making sure you're actively looking for lame cows can make a significant difference to severity, recovery and cost. The Dairy NZ Healthy Hoof Lameness Score is a reliable approach to identifying cows likely to benefit from treatment. It has been developed using combined knowledge from UK and US scoring systems adapted for the New Zealand dairy farmer. The system identifies four categories from no lameness, that score zero, through to severe lameness, score three and links to the action required for managing each group. It's helpful to observe cows from the side and from behind, standing and as they walk. Cows have evolved to avoid being targeted by predators and so they're extremely good at hiding the signs of pain associated with lameness. Cows showing early signs of lameness can be found throughout the herd as they try to maintain their normal position walking to the dairy. As their lameness worsens, they may be found towards the back of the mob. Healthy hoof lameness scoring focuses on six areas of a cow's mobility that will indicate whether she is lame and how severely. These are walking speed, walking rhythm, stride length and foot placement, weight bearing, back alignment and head position. One indicator is the cow's walking speed. Cows will normally walk at a similar speed to a person and maintain their position in the herd. As lameness worsens, her walking speed will slow and she may move towards the back of the herd as she struggles to keep up. This is most noticeable after milking when cows are walking at their own pace back to the paddock. Another indicator for lameness scoring is the walking rhythm. Cows normally have a regular rhythm in all four legs and walk confidently with a fluid motion. If she becomes lame, the rhythm will be interrupted and become uneven. Often the corresponding non-lame hind or front leg will swing through faster than the lame leg to reduce the time on which the lame leg bears weight. A cow's stride length and foot placement are excellent indicators of her lameness score. When cows walk on an even surface and at their own pace, they'll track up. They look in front of them and choose where their front feet land, then their back feet land on the same spot. This allows them to place their feet safely and avoid obstacles such as stones. Cows with lameness scores of 1, 2 and 3 may have a shortened stride and their rear foot may fall short of the front foot placement. Another indicator is how a cow bears weight on all four limbs. Cows with healthy feet place and weight bear evenly on all four legs while standing and walking. Lame cows will favour the lame leg. This leg will not fully weight bear and the opposite leg will take more weight. The dew claws will sink closer to ground level. How straight and even a cow's back is can also indicate her lameness score. Non-lame cows tend to stand and walk with a straight back whereas an arched back can indicate lameness. That said, an arched back can also be a sign of an uncomfortable walking surface or other health issues such as gut pain. A cow's head position and movement is another clue to lameness. A cow will normally hold her head slightly below the back line. When she's walking, the head only moves a little. A cow carries 60% of her weight in the front half. 
she can use her head position to transfer weight away from a painful leg. She will raise her head to take weight off a lame front foot and lower her head to take weight off a lame back foot. This can be seen as a bobbing head when walking. Many of the early indicators of lameness are subtle and only seen with careful inspection of walking cars. Yet early treatment is the key to rapid and complete recovery with minimal disturbance to the car and her productivity.